Hello and welcome to this new video in the Databricks playlist. In this video we are going to see how to drop one or more columns from a Databricks. So let's get started. I have a notebook created already. I am pasting the code that I have already copied to read the data. It's the same employees.csv file we are using again and again. So let's wait until this executes. So here we have, this was the schema. All of them are string in currently since I have not inferred the schema or imposed it. Let's say I want to drop the column city for example to start with. So let's take this in a new data frame df2 is equal to df. Now to drop you simply just say df dot drop and in this inside double quotes you can say salary in double quotes and then we can do display command df2 execute this simply so very simple that was next let's say you want to drop multiple columns so all you have to do is add the column name again here comma okay there we wanted to drop city but I entered salary sorry for that now here let us do city salary plus city and here I can say df3 let's re -execute, execute this so we have only id and name so very simple just remember read the data frame then call the data frame dot drop single column pass it in a string multiple columns pass them this way separated by comma each in double quotes now you should also situationally understand when to use what in terms of let's say if you have 100 columns and you you don't want 90 columns out of that in that case you should rather use select because you will have to write only column names of 10 columns rather than writing 90 column names in the drop uh, statement so think about the solution before you just jump on it as to how effectively you could also write shorter codes and also write better codes and handle a scenario in an alternative way so very simple that's it and uh, in python as well this is the same thing so i'm not showing you again so that's it in this video thanks for watching stay tuned